train platform and it's busy. Rush hour, so everyone's like packed, like jammed in, you know. And it's early, like 20 to 8 or something. You know, that time in the morning when the sun's not fully up and the air feels still almost uh, wet somehow. I wouldn't even normally be on this platform because normally my mum, she gives me a lift, but since she and my dad, since they like split, I've been getting the train every time I see it my dad. So I'm standing there on this platform and I can feel all these bodies. All these bodies, and it's like they're too close somehow, just too much, because I can feel them. It's like a one organism, one thing, moving and breathing with that tight. And I look to my left, and out of the corner of my eye, I can see this boy. My age, maybe, or maybe younger, and he's bouncing this ball, this, this small, like, tiny ball. And he stood at the back of the platform, listening to music with his headphones, and not really concentrating. I look at the clock, it says 7.42, and I know the train is coming. Because although I can't see it, I get that feeling in my legs, like vibrating, and the air on the platform is changing, it's sort of sucking us. And I look to my right, and there's this woman next to me. She's holding these flowers, yellow, and she's moving, sort of pushing her way, just a little bit. And I don't think anything. And this boy at the back, he's still bouncing the ball, bouncing and catching, bouncing and catching. And I look at the clock, it says 7.43, and I know the train is coming. Because I can see the lights now, it's sort of sucking and that feeling in my legs is now in my stomach and the platform is getting ready we're like we're like getting ready to fight you know because we're not getting on and the boy bounces the ball and there's this sudden moment this feeling where i know exactly what's going to but it's too late because the ball is already and the train is already and i feel the ball hit me and it's like there's this rip this tear in the universe because this isn't well None of this was supposed to. I look up and I see this butterfly, this tiny, fragile thing sort of hovering, suspended somehow for a moment. And then I feel that the force I'm falling sort of spinning through space and, and the boy, he bounces the ball and there's this flash, this sudden moment, this like, just this snap of something yellow and the train it screeches sort of staggers and I look to my right and the woman she's not there and the flowers are and the boy he's looking at his hands he's looking at his empty hands and the woman she's just she's just butterfly Two people, one is playing the yo-yo. So, there's this idea about the world, okay? Mm-hmm. And the world is basically made from chaos, okay? Okay. And if the world is chaos, it means that anything is possible. And if anything is possible, it means that anything can happen. Right. And if anything can happen, it means that anything might actually happen. If anything might actually happen, it means that anything can probably happen. <laughs> Right. At any time. Okay, so... So, if a butterfly flaps its wings in... Look up, it's Brazil. This is Brazil. And then it goes... And then... This could create a tornado. Spinning, spinning, spinning. Over in Texas. 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 <laughs> I don't understand. It's complicated. But I don't... It's all about consequence. Consequence? The input and the output can't always predict it. So it's unpredictable. Right. A change in the initial condition of a system that disrupts the order. Disrupts the order. One thing that yeah, changes everything. <laughs> Chaos. Pause. Chaos. Yeah. Pause. So, what do we do? Hands. Dan alone. His hands are both bandaged. He removes the bandages from his hands. His knuckles are bruised, bloody. It's painful. <sighs> Emily enters. Dan is shocked, embarrassed. Sorry! I didn't know anyone was in here. Sorry, I'm a pause. Dan picks up his bag, his bandages. Emily notices his hands. 
Wait, what? Your hands. It's nothing. They're bleeding. It's nothing. He leaves. Betray her. Imogen, Sal, and Lauren are applying makeup in a mirror. They drink vodka. <laughs> Bee hangs back. So anyway, I was like, oh, um, uh, G, WTF, are you actually kidding me? For real. Like, to see her there. I know. And the way she looked. Seriously. Like, the way she actually looked at me. I know. With her face. Honestly. Just standing there looking at me with her face. <laughs> I know. Pass me the vodka. Sal does. Imogen drinks. I said, if you've got something to say, then you can say it to my face. Exactly. I said, you see the face and my face. If you've got something to say, then you can say it to the face. <laughs> and you know what she said? Balls. Nothing. Exactly. Absolutely nothing. Do you think she might have been... Too scared, probably. To say something to my face, Howard. And did you see what she was wearing? I know. What she was actually wearing. <laughs> I know. I she had the same shoes on as Charlotte, so Charlotte said she was going to burn them when she got in. Exactly. She said she didn't care if her mom got them for her birthday, she just tells she lost them. She said it was a matter of a loyalty, that's friendship. Exactly. And did you see her coat? Don't. I swear I seen it in a charity shop. I know, don't. It's gross. So gross. I keep thinking it's such a betrayal. I know. You know, she was, you know, she knew that I liked him. But do you think... She knew. But do you think? She 100% knew because I told her that I like, liked his jumper while we were doing cross country. <laughs> I said that to her. I know. No word of a lie. I said that to her. I know. <laughs> <laughs> and now, they're going out. Do you think they might be. What? Just friends. They might be just friends. Paul. Or Luke. Anyway, I don't even care about him anymore. Good for you. I think he's gross. I think she's gross. I think they're both gross. Good. I mean, have you seen the state of his hands? What has he done to them? It's disgusting. I mean, who would do that? Apparently his dad was like witness to this thing that happened and he had this like massive heart attack, so. I don't want to hear about it. I know, but I'm just saying. Like, I said I don't care, so if I don't care, then I don't care, so I don't care. I know, but. <laughs> I said I don't care. She don't, said she don't care. I don't. I know. I don't care. Pause. I keep thinking about them together. <laughs> I know. You know, she was supposed to be my friend. I know. My best friend. I thought I was your... One of my best friends. Right. <laughs> well, I hope they're happy together. Exactly. Well, I hope they're really bloody happy together. Yeah. I hope they're completely, ridiculously, completely happy together. Me too. Pause. <laughs> what? What? What do you mean? What? You want them to be happy together? I'm just agreeing with you. I don't actually want them to be happy together. <laughs> oh. I want them to be miserable, Laurie. <laughs> oh. What is wrong with you? Nothing. Pass me the vodka. She does. Imogen drinks.
trying to say. You don't need to say. Well, you don't I mean, need to say. I'm sorry if I... It doesn't matter. It's, it's not a big deal. Yeah, but with flowers, uh, it's fine. It was weird. I don't care. It was a bit weird. I, I, I didn't mind. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're here, because I just wanted to say... I wanted to say... I, I, I have to go. Yeah, but wait. I'm, I'm sorry. I have wait. To go. Parents. Two girls. Jane is bouncing a ball. Somalia watches her. Are you okay? Jane bounces the ball. Can you hear me? Jane ignores her, continues bouncing the ball. Can you? I'm okay. <laughs> You're not. I am. I'm fine. Talk. To I don't need to. I'm fine. Please. I'm a bit busy right now, actually. You're so bouncing the ball. It takes a lot of concentration. You have to get it right. Look at me. She bounces a ball. What did she say? Nothing. She must have said something. She didn't. Oh, so she said nothing. Nothing at all. She said that something happened on the train this morning and it made her think about things. Jane bounces the ball. So you just got home from school and he was there? Yeah. Just move back in. Yeah. Just bags and patches there. I said, yeah. And she didn't even explain? No. She didn't even try to? She said she loved him. But she didn't. She said she loved him. It's complicated. She said it's messy. She said it's not straightforward. She said the world doesn't... She said when you're older, the world doesn't make... She said she was doing her best. She said to trust her. She said that people make mistakes. She said the world's in straight lines. She said it's rough edges. She said it's chaos, but we invested it. She said she had a feeling in her stomach, and it felt like the right one. She said she was doing her best. So... So... That's... That's... Everything. Dance one. A dance routine. It's really boring. Someone makes a mistake. Everyone stops and looks at them.
forever. Then I'll stay forever. But really, it could be forever. Then I'll stay forever. <laughs> I'm being serious. So am I. I'm being properly serious. Me too. But what are you protesting? Everything. Well, that's too much. I know. Because <laughs> it won't change. It has to. What if it doesn't? We have to try. So what do you think? Violence on our streets. I know. Rising sea levels. Yeah. But nations divided in wars Listen. and wars and wars. Government corruption. I know. Police brutality. Toxic masculinity, corporate greed, racism, sexism. I, I know. Families torn apart, the ice caps melting, polar bears dying, people dying. Listen. Nuclear weapons, fear of women, fear of men, apartheid, genocide, temperatures rising, people migrating, the earth melting, flowers dying, fish dying, wars breaking out, the planet pulled it's, apart, it's hearts it's breaking it's into pieces. Listen. I saw this thing on a, on a bus. And it changed me. It changed me. Well, we have to try, don't we? We have to try. We have to try. Hope. A boy and girl in a field. The girl has a butterfly in her hands. What is that? A butterfly? Uh, can I see? They look at it. Its wing is broken. I know. Will it be okay? I don't know. She holds it up, looks at it. Maybe. Kids. Two people. Kids. So, the input equals the output. It's easy. We just have to understand. But, what? What about wind? What? Wind. What, what's about it? What if there's wind? We're not thinking about it. Or, or rain. Like, so, or a puddle. Like, if you just bounce it and you bounce it in a massive puddle. Thinking of this or in a, a vacuum. storm, yeah. Say this is a storm, storm. A hurricane, like, massive hurricane that was tearing through. You would be missing the point. Or a tornado, like, massive, tearing up everything in its path. Tsunami, massive, sea swallows the land. Forest fires, earthquakes, massive earthquakes splitting the earth, the whole world falls apart. What if it doesn't? I'm just saying, what if it doesn't? The output. What if it doesn't equal the input? 
depression. One has locked themselves in their room. Two sits outside. You have to come out? No. You have to. No. You have to, I'll get your mum. I don't care. Will do. I won't. You will. I won't. You will. Nothing. But your dad then? I'm not bothered. Your dad? I don't care. Your dad is like... He's, He's not. And I don't care. What if I just went to get him? Nothing. If you come out, I'll buy you an ice cream. I'm okay. If you come out, we can go down the field. If you come out, we can ride our bikes, and we can sit in the grass, and we can look at all the wildflowers, and we can talk about anything, anything you want. And we can make beer from my dad's garage, and I won't even blame you. I won't even blame you if he finds out. And we can listen to music and practice dad's routines, and it won't matter when you get them wrong. And we can look up at the sky and try and catch a butterfly and lie in our jumpers and make daisy chains and let you just come out your room. to his heart. It's his heart he can feel beating. He says he feels like it's glowing. He says he can't sleep no more. He says he doesn't eat. He says when he thinks about him, which is all the time, he feels like there's butterflies in his stomach. He says when he opens his mouth, they fly out. He says his heart is stretching. He says his heart is a balloon and it's stretching and when he breathes in, he thinks it might burst. He thinks it actually might burst. He thinks it might explode into a ten thousand tiny million pieces or fall out of his chest. He says his blood is thicker now. He says his soul is stretching. He says he didn't know what it was to be a person before. He says he didn't know what it was to belong to the universe. He says he knows infinity. He says the sky is in his cells. He says it's chaos in his head. He says his skin is raw nerves. He says there's no edges to his body. He says... 
His eyes are wide open. He says it's better now. He says it scares him, but it's okay. He says his heart is stretching. He says it's better now. It's better now. Anxiety. Three people. One of them with a football. He's not coming in. Why? He wouldn't say. What? He's not coming in. I asked him, and he told me. He said he didn't want to talk about it. He said he was going home. He didn't want to say. What? When? On the way here. So he'd left. Yeah. He got up, left the house. Yeah. Got the house, got the train. And the trains were cancelled. We'd have got the bus. Oh, okay, but he left the house and got the bus. I mean, he, he was coming. I don't know. I guess so. He just said that he'd gone home. Yeah? You reckon something's happened? I don't know. You reckon something's happened on the bus? I don't know. You reckon something's bad's happened on the bus and he's just not talking? I don't know, Colin. I've tried. Call him again. No. I'll call him. He won't pick up. Pause. If I come to ten, then walk backwards, then it should be okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> I said if I come to ten, then walk backwards, <laughs> then it'll be okay. <laughs> what? Or, if I touch every flower, bat, 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 like this in the park, then everything should be okay. I, I don't understand. D d or, if you could catch a butterfly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think if you could catch a butterfly, it'd be all okay. I, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that would really help. Yeah, uh, no, I think if you could catch a butterfly, everything would be hunky-dory. Mm. <laughs> yeah. I think that, I, I, I'm not sure I could do what? Catch no. a butterfly. Some sort of I don't think we should worry so much. <laughs> you think we should call him? <laughs> you, you think he's okay? Shoes. A girl enters. She's not wearing shoes. Uh, what happened to your shoes? I set them on fire. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Okay. <laughs> spinning. A single person is spinning in circles. <coughs> they watch them. They join in. So the bus is kind of full. It's busy, but I got a seat and I'm sitting there. I'm just sitting there, not really minding nothing, but my headphones in, listening to something. I can't remember, but the sun's coming in through the window and it's like bright, nice, and the bus is calm. And there's that feeling when everyone's like happy. You know, because it's summer and it's sun and the windows are open and there's a breeze coming in, coming through like cool. And the bus stops. And you can feel it shake, sort of shudder a little. And this white guy gets on. You can hear him from down the stairs because his voice is kind of loud. He sounds, I don't want to presume, but he sounds maybe like he's been drinking. Which is weird, because it's early. And he comes up the stairs and his face is like red. And, there's this look, and he has this look on it that's like, you do not want to, you do not want to mess with him because the look on his face is, and everyone's silent, because we know, we can feel it the way the air is. And there's this boy, he's sitting a few seats up, he's just sitting there. And this guy, he's like looking for, he's really looking for a fight. And this boy, he's just sitting there, like paying him no attention, like listening to music. And he's got these flowers in his hand, these yellow flowers. And the guy goes up to the boy and says, move, move. pause. Just like that. And the boy is like, because he's not, he hasn't been anticipating, you know, he's just sitting there. He's on his way to meet a friend, maybe a date, I don't know, but whatever it is, this isn't. He hasn't got time, and what I haven't told you is that this boy is black. And I don't know if that's why, because this guy, he sort of looks like the type, like the kind of guy that might end up doing all this maths in my head. And the guy says, 
says it again to the boy goes move. move. No. Just like that, calm but firm. In the sky you can see his face contorting. Because he's not the kind of guy that looks like people really say that to him that often. And so he says it again. Move. move. But this time he spits it and he's so close to this boy's face now. And the bus is like charged, all of us holding our breaths. Because we know that it's on us. You know that it's on us to do something. It's on us. And there's another boy, a different boy, sitting next to me. And you can feel his whole body tighten. He didn't know the world could be like this. He hasn't seen anything like this. And you can feel it. You can tell. And the boy looks at the guy standing there above him, looks at him calmly. And he reaches out and touches his face, just gentle. He touches his face. The guy, the guy, he just, he just. Rage. Dan walks into a room. He smashes the top. He punches the wall. He hurries his head. Big Bang, it was like a big explosion. 
and all the stuff, because all the stuff that had been flowing around for billions of years, all mishmashed together, mish, and then it went, and then it went boom, and a big explosion of light and matter and the other stuff, and then it all that other stuff also mishmashed, mish, mash, and then that made the sun and the stars and the planets and the earth, which is also a planet, etc. Yeah, but the carbon from that is in our bones. From the Big Bang. <laughs> yeah. It's fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess that explains a lot. So, a girl on the phone, she bounces a ball. So I was like, wait, you've got to chill out. He's not worth it. <laughs> I know. Uh -huh. Another phone. I know. Uh, hang on. She answers the other phone. Oh, hi. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we had this conversation. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so I know. Yeah, so I don't care. Because I'm an autonomous, sentient being with my own agency. <laughs> no, I'm not being facetious. <laughs> yeah, because I already told you. Yeah, because you know I did. Yeah, when you called me, like, five minutes ago. <laughs> well, I think you're a dick. <laughs> Yeah, well, I think you're a dick. Yeah, well, I think you're a dick, too. Yeah, well, I don't care for my mother. <laughs> Family is a social construct. No, I'm not coming downstairs. <laughs> because you know why. No, because you do. Because you do. Because you do. No, you do. Because I'm not coming downstairs till he is gone. Oh. No, I won't. Oh. We spoke about this, remember? No, because I don't want to speak about it again. No, because you know what he said to me. Because it's not okay. Because it's not. No, I won't open the door. No, I don't want to upset you. No, because you know that. You know that. No, you, know, you know I love you. It's not about that. It's not about that. Because I can't deal with this no more. Because it hurts me too. Because I'm sorry. Because I'm sorry. I'll talk to you later. Because I have to go. Because I have to. Because. Because. Because I'm sorry. Because I have to. Because. She puts the phone down. She picks the other one up, holds it in her hand. A butterfly flies across the space. She watches it. <coughs> Part two.
Or is he kicking? And I look to my left and there's this woman, and she's holding these flowers, these blue flowers, and she's pushing, sort of pushing her way, just a little bit. And I look at the clock, and the train is coming, and the air is changing, and the feeling in my legs is now in my stomach, and the platform is getting ready. We're like, we're like getting ready to, you know, because we're all getting on. And I look down, and there's this butterfly just lying on the ground. It's wings looks like it's broken. And then the ball that goes flying, like spinning through the air. And, and then there's this flash, just this snap, the smallest, like, lick of something blue. And I see the wind stumbling, so I grab her, just sort of take her and pull her to me. And the train, it screams, it's so fast, it sort of screeches, and I, I look at the woman. And my heart is, and I look at this woman, and the flowers are, and I hold her. I hold her, the woman, I, I hold her. I just hold her. Safety. Two girls outside a house. I I'm sorry. It's okay. It's late. I tried to call. Don't worry. I didn't know what to do. You called. I, he, sh he wouldn't stop shouting. You're breathing. I, she was crying. My mum, I could hear her crying. You called to her. It's raining. I could hear him from upstairs. You're shaking. Look at me. I climbed out of the window. I crawled down the garage. I banged my knee on the drop. I landed in the flowers. I, I scratched my leg on the thorns. I could hear, I could hear the TV inside the house. He wouldn't stop shouting. You're okay. I didn't know what to do. You're okay. You're here now. You're okay. Flowers. Two boys. The school corridor. One is carrying flowers. Right, these. Everything's different. But wait, I'm sorry. I wait, can't. I can't. Michael leaves. Operation. Dan in a hospital waiting room. Emily is with him. Left, 
And uh, there's this woman, she's holding, holding flowers. flowers. Yeah, yellow, blue flowers. flowers. And she's pushing, like, sort of shoving. shoving her way. And I look at the clock, and the train is coming, and the air is changing, and the feeling in my legs is now in my stomach. And apart from us getting ready, it's getting ready. And I turn my head, 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 Structures. Because your structures are not my structures. Because your body is not the same as my body, and your feelings aren't the same as my feelings. Because the things I feel, the things I think, the things I want, the things I need, because it doesn't fit me. Because it's too small. Because I can't grow, and I can't be, and I can't read inside your structures, because they're not my structures. And your language doesn't fit in my mouth, because your words can't define me. And my body is my body, and my feelings are my feelings. And the way I feel is the way I feel. And it's not straight lines and hard edges. Because there's no corners. Because it's curves and coils and heat and color. Because there are things I can't name. Because your language doesn't give me words. And my heart is so full, it's breaking out, out of my chest. It's spilling over because your structures, they don't. They just 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 don't. The input equals the output. So? The input equals the output. I don't care. The input equals the output. It's like, my boat's all here, at such speed, such force, can predict where it will go. 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 I thought you would. It will go. I know. It will go. It will go. I thought it will go. I thought you'd make it feel the way I feel. go. The way go. The way I want it to feel. go. And we were standing in this field of wildflowers that day, and I realised that when I'm with them, it's like, it's like the sky is so much bigger, and the world is turning so much faster, and he's changed. He's, he's, he's different. He saw something on the bus, and it changed him. And I can't make him feel the way I feel unless he feels it. And so. Anxiety too. So what she said was that we're all gonna die, and like she knew it, she like already knew it. And uh, like the thing is, since she started thinking about it, it's like sort of become like an obsession, you know? Like like it's become all she thinks about. It. And she started reading about it. Yeah, and uh, like uh, these articles about like drought and and like uh, how people are dying because they haven't got enough water and like. Like um, war in Syria and like the assault on Palestine and the war in the Congo and uh, like refugees, like all these millions of refugees and, uh, and like forest fires and like the waters rising and, and earthquakes and tsunamis and hurricanes. And she said she, she can't stop thinking about it. She said she can't stop thinking about it. She just said she can't stop. Can't can't stop. She said she just can't stop.
Sanitary team, everyone gets it wrong, no one cares. Black. 